from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. To many people, the Library of Congress is about physical objects, important, valuable items that are stored on shelves, in boxes, or otherwise occupy space. But the library is also responsible for millions of other objects that occupy little or no space. These are digital materials, such as photos, videos, audio, web pages, data sets, and other computer files. You might think that these two groups of objects exist separately from each other, and in some cases, they do. But many physical items in the library's collections have digital copies, or surrogates, and both must remain accessible over time. The Walt A. Mueller map of 1507 perfectly illustrates the rich complexity of the library's current preservation mission, which must today account for preservation of and access to our national heritage. The map is truly revolutionary because it shows the Pacific Ocean years before Balboa crossed the isthmus and many years before Magellan would come around and discover the straits. The Walt Mueller map is the first map that refers to America as America, so it's essentially our birth certificate. The rediscovery and purchase of the map here at the library was really the beginning of the journey of this map. Since that time, it has been available for people to look at and on permanent display in the Thomas Jefferson Building. Stored in an anoxic case, which means we actually remove all the oxygen from it, and that reduces the issues with oxidation or hydrolysis of the paper and any fragile components on the paper itself in the map. So we're actually controlling the environment to be minimally invasive, but it actually extends the lifetime of the document without having to do any treatments to it. Physical preservation of the Walt A. Mueller map is vital, but how can we access the map today? Well, the library has, has undergone a, a very, very large-scale digital um, program on the 1507 map itself. By the click of a mouse, um, one can go onto the Library of Congress's website and access the map in extreme detail. So it's available all over the world for scholars to research at this point. The digital images that we've taken are at very, very high resolution, and they allow scholars to, to really peer at the map in a way that no one's been able to do for 300 years. The digital images also provide us a, a means of preserving and and looking at the map's condition uh, through its life cycle. The great thing about this project is it brings together those two aspects of preservation and access. So we have the case which preserves the original, but the digital files are critical to actually providing the access to that information. One of the challenges, of course, as everyone knows, with digital data is maintaining access to it. Digital preservation requires active management to ensure the ongoing integrity and accessibility of content. A key part of any digital preservation effort is avoiding obsolescence. Since computers and related technologies change quickly, it is necessary to migrate or convert digital files from old formats to new formats in order to ensure their stability. This means that, as time passes, the digital copies of the Walt A. Mueller map will travel across changes in technology, while the physical map remains immutable in its original format. The Library of Congress has a responsibility to preserve and provide enduring access to the Walt A. Mueller map in both its physical and digital forms. The library takes this responsibility very seriously, as we hold this wealth of information not just for ourselves, but in trust for future generations. To learn more about digital preservation at the Library of Congress and elsewhere, please visit digitalpreservation.gov. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.